Good morning. I'm in Jerusalem again. It's the Assumption Day. Today Mary, the mother, will meet Jesus. Just her, in heaven. Now, you saw me? Then let's begin the tour. And uh, for the one who, uh, who, told, who asked me to wear a hat, I'm wearing a hat. But I'm so ugly with it. Then I... Well, let me show you how it looks like. Ah, you see? Then I usually uh, take in the first part of the video without a hat, just for the, for you. We are now at the Armenian Quarter, heading to the Dormition Church. Um, the Dormition Church was um, closed for, let's say, four or five years because of renovation. Then um, they are supposed to open it today, mainly, uh, maybe only for one day, maybe for the rest of the, uh, uh, for, uh, from uh, the rest of the existence of the church. Maybe open it soon. I'm not sure that it's going to be, uh, will be open to, to the tourists from tomorrow, from tomorrow, but at least they promised that they would have a special ceremony for the Assumption of Mary today. And guess who is walking there? I um, didn't take uh, a working day. Uh, I'm doing it for all of us who are watching that video. And if it's your first video of mine, please subscribe to my channel. Be part of my uh, family. I have, I had more than 20,000 videos. I've been hacked a few, two months ago. And, uh, <laughs> and now I have only 15 or 16,000 videos. I'm uh, looking for the rest. It's not so easy. Then, from here, you can see two things. The southern wall of the temple of the city from 16th century, and above it, can you see the tower? This is the tower of the Dormition Church. The Dormition Church is such an amazing church, dedicated to Mary. Now, I know, I know that some of you will ask me, why Mary? Why not Jesus? Uh, because the story is about here is about Mary. There are so many churches uh, in Jerusalem dedicated to Jesus and the Holy Family. But this is a story that some of you never heard about because it's not part of the Bible. And we will turn left now. And I hope that the taxi won't kill me. And it's not. You are talking taxis. You see the get? Gad is a wonderful app that you can download. It's in English and Hebrew, uh, and maybe even in uh, different languages. And you can um, call a taxi through them. They won't cheat you. They will use the meter, um, and you will know who is the driver. Then it's so safe to use it. There are many quarters. One of four quarters is now to your left side. We do have the. Jewish one, the Christian one, the Muslim one, and the smallest one is the Armenian quarter, surrounded with a wall, not easy to enter to it. But if you are watching my videos, you can see, you can see a lot of videos of uh, the Armenian quarter. Then in that case, according to um, Proto-Evangelion of James from second century, we know what's happened to Mary before she met Joseph and after the Pentecost because the last time that Mary was mentioned was at the Pentecost and the house of Mary that we are heading to is close to the Pentecost. According to that, to the proto evangelion Jesus, sorry, Mary was walking on Mount of Olives. Let me show you where Mount of Olives is. Right there, right there. I'm standing in the middle of the road. When an angel came to her and said, Mary, you do have three days to live. Now, Mary was sinless. Immaculate, mother. Then she couldn't, in a way, die like a regular uh, person, like a sinner like me. She fell asleep. Slash died. I'm not going to argue about it, because you know when I... I'm, uh, I'm talking about it. Some Christians are really mad at me, and uh, that is not 
what I'm intended to. And um, then the angel told her three days um, that's going to be the end of you on earth and you're going to meet uh, your son, Jesus. Then in that case, let me show you where we are. The Armenian quarter is right here. I entered through Jaffa Gate and I started to take the video from here. Sorry, from here. I went out the walls to Zion, Zion through Zion Gate to Mount Zion. And you can see that there, the Remission Abbey, that's where we're heading now. And the tomb of King David is there too. And the room of the Last Supper, uh, the house of the high priest, uh, the tomb of Oscar Schindler. And so many things you can find here. Then in that case, Mary called everyone to her house here in Mount Zion, except of the uh, disciples who weren't here. For example, St. Thomas was at India at that time, then he wasn't here. And Jesus took her soul, they buried her body at the Cuton Valley, and three days later, which is now 15th of August, uh, Jesus took her body as well into heaven. Then in that case, the church that you can see right now in front of you, look up in the Philippines, it's a new church, it's from 1900. At uh, 18, uh, 1898, the Kaiser came to here and he got the. Um, a couple of it is, and you can see that a lot of them are going to the procession, and not the only one who's doing it. Then uh, let me just uh, finish the story. Um, Then, that church, which is new, the Kaiser got it from the, the Ottomans, he donated to the Catholic, it's a Benedictic uh, German Catholic order, and they built a church on top of it. But the church was built on top of the Hagia uh, Zion Church. Zion Church was one of the most important churches. At that time, the 4th century, it was surrounded with a wall. You could visit there the room of uh, the Last Supper, you could visit there the room that dedicated to uh, David and now we know that it's the tomb of King David you could see there the tomb of Horn, uh, the Holy Grail uh, you could see so many things and uh, it's been destroyed a few times no hats now let me I'm so excited to enter the gate is open I hope that they will let me take a video of it I am so excited. It's unbelievable. I am so excited. I am so excited. So good to see. Is it going to be open from tomorrow? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Then yes. I am crying. This is such an important place for me. We're entering through the nave. Oh, wow. Wow. I can cry now. I can cry now when they renovated in such a beautiful way.
I'm almost crying. I'm sure that you thought that it was Mary holding Jesus. Where it is, it's Mary holding Jesus. the ceremony will begin. You can see here something else. Jesus holding Mary. Actually, Jesus holding Mary's soul. And you can see that Mary fell asleep here. One of the most secret moments of this month. Above Mary, you can see figures of prefiguration of Mary, like Eve, Esther, Ruth, Judith. I don't want to disturb them. There are so many chapels from different kind of Catholic uh, places. to be here now or not, but it's like someone forced me to be here and that's what I'm doing. Um, two more chapels that I really love is that the Lamb of God, symbol like Jesus. And the church today is the closest place for the For the Pentecost, because the Pentecost is not uh, belongs to the Christians yet. That's for a different story, different video. We uh, uploaded so many videos of the room the last supper. You can see, but you can see Pentecost here. And Mary is the most important figure, because Jesus wasn't there anymore. Twelve disciples. Judas is not here yet. I mean, he's not here anymore. It's on fire. Gosh. They have the best organ ever.
never can be evil ever. to see where it leads to. Let's go out and let's take a short video of it because I don't want to disturb the mass. from above. Show you a little bit. 